This is Robert Waterman for youtube.com forward slash seconds out interviewing Jess Harding. Jess, it's been a long time since we've seen you in the world of boxing. What brings you back? Woody Camacho. Um, somebody came up to me about two or three months ago and I've got a business associate and he introduced me to Woody and we sat down and Woody wanted to be managed in a certain fashion and put pen to paper and uh, here we are here today. And uh, before you, we go into what you're doing in boxing, what have you been up to the last few years? Robert, I've been busy with darts players, been managing darts players for the last two or three years. Um, a magnificent sport that's been really, really well run and it's a global sport now and uh, I've been involved in that. We manage five or six darts players. Um, it's been very successful, but at the end of the day, my whole life has been revolved around boxing and you do you find yourself getting drawn back to the sport. Yeah, and you couldn't stay away. You can't stay away, no. It's just, as much as you, you try to and you kid yourself. You know, I love boxing, I love being associated with fighters and uh, I'm, you know, I'm glad I'm back, basically. Well, it's amazing. We're in this gym in Finchley, which is where it almost all began for you, and not as a boxer, but as a manager, because it was around this area that you, of course, met Spencer. Yeah, that's right. I mean, I boxed at Finchley Amateur Boxing Club as an amateur, and through that I met Spencer, and Spencer was only a seven or eight-year-old boy at that time, and uh, obviously he grew up and, and went on to become a major, major talent, and yeah, you're right, this is my home, hometown, my home country, my home environment, and, and I love doing it, I love being here. Coming on to your re-emergence in the sport, back with Wadi Camacho, what are your plans? Well, he's fighting Tony Conquest on October the 5th at the O2. Um, obviously, presuming he's going to be successful, which I'm sure he will do, this is an eliminate for the British Cruiserweight Championship. After that, then he'll be decided whoever wins the fight between him, Neil Dawson and his opponent, um, the champion. Well, then we'll, we'll see after that and see where we go. But you know, I fully expect Camacho to be fighting for the British Cruiserweight Championship in the new year. Uh, how far do you think Camacho can go? Well, I don't like to put yardsticks on these things, Robert. I think it's going to be very, very easy to, to predict and to do this and the other. I think you've just got to take step by step by step. But what I will say, and I've said it to him before, it takes a hell of a lot of dedication and ambition and you need talent. There's lots of attributes to make a champion. He possesses all those. I've been fortunate to be involved with a boxer, as you said, Spencer Oliver and Nicky Cook, who ended up being a world champion as well. And this man carries the same sort of attributes. So, he has got the potential. Um, he could. He's a type of personality that could also transcend boxing. He's a very, very charismatic character. Um, he punches hard. He's got all the attributes. But you know, let's just take it step by step and see where we get with. I um, remember Camacho doing very well in Prize Fighter. Um, it hasn't all gone right for him since then, though. I think so. I mean, he, he, he won Prize Fighter. He's had a fight since then, a four-round fight. I think he sort of it crystallised his own belief in himself as well and now he's got to replicate that over a 12 round trip as opposed to a three round trip and I think he can do it. All right, is there anything else you'd like to say to us? Uh, no Rob, so? not to always the same, I'm just very very glad to be back involved with the sport. Um, it's something that I've loved, the sport, for a long long time. I've grown up with it and I just love being involved with it. Not to be really for me to say but welcome back. Thank you very much indeed Rob. Thank Cheers. you very much. Cheers. Cheers.